product owner is a role, product manager is the job. Mm -hmm. And so you may have product managers who say, look, my job is to set, you know, figure out the vision for this product, understand the goals, maybe even do a little bit of the sort of business ops of the product. Like, hey, how, what's the business metrics? How's the growth? Mm -hmm. What's the customer mm -hmm. adoption like? And at the same time, you may be on your team also playing the role of partnering with your eng lead and figuring out, okay, for this sprint, for this release, for this quarter, whatever it is, here are our goals. Here's the sort of things we have to accomplish. Here's the user journeys or user stories. And then kind of maybe dip back into your product manager job in some cases and talk to customers and work with other teams on your go-to-market launch and things like that. So I've worked in places where they're separate and you have a product owner and then you have someone else who sits somewhere as a product manager. My personal experience, I'd have a great experience with that because the product managers were a little too far removed from the product owner work and each team had their own roadmaps and they weren't in sync and it's like, yeah. does this person talk to customers, but the product owner talks to engineers? Well, that's kind of broken because you yeah. really should have the product owner should be able to talk to customers, talk yeah. to stakeholders internally. They should be talking to engineers, right? I think Marty Kagan just said that recently. I thought it was brilliant. So you can't ever lose that, right? A product right. owner needs to still be sitting there readily talking to customers, readily talking to your internal teams that care about your product and regularly talking to engineers. And that's kind of how Google does that. We really don't have a product owner per se. We have product managers who play that role mm -hmm. on their team kind of as that functions needed, but they're also kind of running their product. Yeah. So you don't accidentally end up with a split. Now I'm an outbound product management, which breaks the paradigm even further. Yeah. Now you have another sort of person in role who also does a lot of customer stuff, does a lot of go to market stuff, Yeah. things like that. So each org will be different. I think for some companies you might have the process where you need dedicated product owners, especially project by project, product by product. Mm -hmm. You may have a product management sort of function potentially. I don't believe that's a hierarchy, like product mm -hmm. owners report to product managers. I'm not sure that's yeah. the thing. Yeah. But you might have some cases where, look, the product manager is the person who does the work, who does the product owner work, who does some PM work. And you might be at companies where you have product managers and outbound product managers. So yeah. there's going to be different paradigms. I think the important thing is who's going to make sure that you don't add a lot of friction mm -hmm between mm -hmm. what are we trying to accomplish and how does that get broken into work that engineers can work on? Like yeah. as long as you don't add friction to that and mess up that process, I don't care what you call people. 